All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. The Nick here. Jody there. Last name or first name, duh. And we are excited to check out another... Billy Connolly. I don't know how to do the accent. The other video we were recording, you were doing 15 different accents. <laughs> Why do you hate Billy? I don't... Billy Connolly. There you go. I, I, can, I Honestly, I can't do an accent, period. But I have my lame British accent. I can't even think about doing Scottish, right? I can't or do Irish. it on the spot. It's no, too hard. No, absolutely not. I have to like be listening to it for like an hour and yes. they'll try something and they'll say, just stop talking. Sorry. <laughs> my bad. But um, we're going to check out Billy Connolly. And this is a video that for some reason got a lot of requests. Never got around to it. We're going to check it out today. We're checking out which one? Wildebeest. Wildebeest. What do you think of when you think when you hear the word wildebeest? Well, first I think of Will, the beast. Oh my word! That was, was that a Nick joke? <laughs> no. I just thought that's so what I think. That was of. a Nick joke. <laughs> okay, oh my. so my students, I won this year. Um, out of all the teachers at our school for seventh grade, I won the cheesiest joke award for the teacher who gives the cheesiest hey. jokes. And that wasn't supposed to be a joke. Like, that's what I honestly think is Will the Beast. Like, I really think of that. So, apparently, my personality is a joke. Surprised there's not a, a rapper um, out there with that name. Seriously. But I also think of, for whatever reason, is where the wild things are. Hmm. Who wrote that? Oh, I can't think of it right now, but yes. But anyway, what do you, what do you think of Will Why the Beast? Why do you think of Will the Beast with that one? I don't know. The creatures. Anyways. Will the Beast in the wild. <laughs> I think of Lion King and the sad demise, spoiler alert, of Mufasa because it was the wildebeest stampede that did him in. That's what I think about. One of my favorite movies of all time. Not the live action. That is an atrocity to all film. It's not even a live action. It's a CGI action. We recently saw a live action Little Mermaid. That was fantastic. So we're going to check out this one right here. I love seeing these different Billy Connolly videos because each one, he's got like a different grooming thing going on right here. This might be a, uh, 1997, so I him being younger is what I'm trying to say but he's got not a lot of the facial hair just a little mustache and a little you know soul patch going on so we're excited to check this out if you like our reaction anyway we have plenty other ones for you to, re to watch our reactions too I know I couldn't do it if you like this one don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of our next upload video oh my gosh why does she hate me so much someone's someone's gotta do something about this woman here we go but now I've taken to shouting at animals. <laughs> and it's, 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 a, it's a grade down, it's a step down the ladder, I feel. And it was, it was a thing about wildebeests. Wildebeest. In the Serengeti Plain in Africa, David Attenborough, one of those guys, you know. And all the wildebeests, a particularly stupid animal, I think. <laughs> and it was eating grass there, thousands of the buggers, you know. And there's lionesses creeping up on them, you know. And the leader, leader, lead, the leader will the beast. <laughs> Do you hear a lion? <laughs> I thought I heard a lion there. I just could feel a lion he can feel a bit of this, you know. <laughs> there was a particularly stupid wildebeest about four back, and he goes, did you see a lion? <laughs> I've never seen a lion. What are they like? <laughs> <laughs> I heard they were beige. Is that right? Are they beige? <laughs> They're beige. This is what camel, camel hair kind of colours. So, hey, you, eat the grass and shut up and do your talk. <laughs> Excuse me for being born by the way <laughs> asking a question about a lion you get a mouth full of abuse <laughs> should have had a lion then <laughs> meanwhile it cuts back to the male lions they're all lying under a tree scratching himself playing cards you know <laughs> smoking <laughs> And then it cuts back to the female lines. They're now about six feet from the wildebeest. And the leader one's sneaking up doing that shoulder number. <laughs> the shoulder number. Yeah, I know what he's talking about, though. Mm -hmm. Agnes. <laughs> Agnes. 
like this. <laughs> Flink them. on the ground, they've split it open, their heads in its rib cage, there's lungs and stomachs flying out, blood everywhere, its back legs still try to run. <laughs> Gosh. And there's a wildebeest standing watching them doing it. Oh, <laughs> well, look at them eating that thing. <laughs> and I'm screaming at the telly, run, you f***ing idiot! <laughs> if they look up your history, you see that dust, that's every wildebeest in Africa! <laughs> know something you don't! <laughs> I'm not a world beast. And I've come to the conclusion the wildebeest don't know the wildebeest. For there are no mirrors in the Serengeti plane. <laughs> it can be anything you like. You ask a wildebeest, are you a wildebeest? Oh, f kidding. <laughs> wildebeest, I'll be right. I'm one of them stripey things over there. <laughs> <laughs> right, oh, aye. One of them lions looks up, I'll just fly away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The whole time I'm watching this, I'm thinking to myself, is he really telling a joke about a nature show? I know. About a wildebeest eating and a lion attacking. That was actually quite impressive that mm -hmm. he was able to turn that. He's sitting there watching TV and he's thinking to himself, huh. Story. That gives me some material. <laughs> the I love shoulder it. thing. Yeah, the little shoulder number. And I love the names. Agnes. <laughs> Agnes, Agnes and Betty. <laughs> and the whole like little police like signals, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and it's funny because when he was doing this, I was like, no, shh. The oh, wildebeest are up there trying to eat. You're going to scare them. You're going to spook them. But I love how like when the wildebeest were eating and he was like looking around and talking to you. he's still eating he's like yeah. chewing his grass <laughs> wow like he's looking at him eat the other wildebeest wildebeest that's interesting and he's like why do you think those people are running you think they know something you don't yeah. know hmm that's crazy <laughs> I, I still can't believe he made a joke about that that was hilarious that was that was really really good but that i gotta say good. i gotta say i think i prefer it's just my two cents who cares i prefer those grooming habits what he had right there I think he looked the best like that, with long yes. curly hair, a little bit of facial hair, and I got a whole bunch of facial hair right now, so I'm just saying that's probably the best Billy Connolly look I've seen so far. Yes, I agree. Wearing the black still. Yeah. Loves the black, like Johnny Cash, the man in black. But we get these requested for these ones of him much younger, right? He's got yes. all brown hair, whatever, no grays. Let us know, 1981. Let us know if you want us to react to some older Billy Connolly. <laughs> and let me know what accent you think that was, because I have no idea. Thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Also, the 1981 was one that's shown up, not the one we just watched. Goodbye.